Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. I don't know why I said that in such a sing-song voice, but there we go. Welcome back if you've been here before. Um, I am trying needle felting today for the first time. I'm recording this way after I actually did the craft, but shh, 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 um, What you're seeing on screen is my computer having a glitch. It recorded my face saying things, but it didn't record my voice saying things. So you're seeing all the materials I will be using to create this felting craft. I have wanted to try felting for so long, I cannot tell you how long. I've seen tutorial after tutorial on Pinterest and I just loved the look of it so much. And I knew that this was the perfect way to create a Kwame from The Miraculous Tales of Lady Blug and, ooh, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Let's say it properly, shall we? So the audio will come back in a moment. I hope you enjoy. Um, and you'll see how it unfolds and see how everything works. I tried to explain how everything works, how all the materials work with the first part of the video, but obviously the audio didn't come through. So you're just going to have to see it for yourself. <laughs> enjoy. Okay, so I tried, but I couldn't wait. It's cute in the sunshine. This was meant to be my holiday thing, and now that I am back at uni, I've decided this is going to be my wind down activity. If I find that at any point this trimester is getting very stressful, then I have my needle felting. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm going to try and make it as stressless as possible. You know, self care and all that. So we're going to do self. <laughs> we're going to do self care. <laughs> it's important, and I don't want my last three months at this university, at this university, to be negative ones. So here we go. I've watched a couple of tutorials, but not many, on how to actually get this into the shape I want. So we're gonna make it a ball, basically, for her head. Let me just do that for a moment, so that I can put a picture up on the screen. So there she is. This is the image that I'm using. So you can see her cute little spots and her gorgeous blue eyes, but you can see that they're kind of inset, like normal eyes. Let's start. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna roll, cause it's in a big long thing. I'm gonna try and, ah, how did the wing do it? She just like, she's rolling it and then trying to make ball shape as she goes. It's fiddly, definitely. That's looking like a ball, right? Oh, we're losing it. We're losing it. Oh my goodness. I probably shouldn't be stopping and starting so much, but it's hard. It feels like it should, you know when you're trying to fold up like a sleeping bag? That's kind of what this feels like. Folding up sleeping bags are the worst, man. It's just, ugh. I really don't like having to fold up sleeping bags. I've just realised I've twisted this entire... Oh my gosh. This is really fiddly once you get bigger. Mm. This is akin to trying to fold up a... Freaking sleeping bag. Oh my gosh. I just managed to twist this every time I do this. I didn't realise it was this difficult. Ugh. It seems to want to like separate. Are you seeing this? Look. That. That is what I'm dealing with. That just twists itself up as I'm folding down here. And it's just like... Ugh. <sighs> anyway. Maybe I should just... I don't know. Getting messages. Sorry. <gasps> do, do, do. My family will be coming home soon as well. Sleeping bag. What? Oh, that's working. Okay. That seems to. That does not work. work. Fridge. Really hope this comes out nicely because otherwise I'm going to be very fast right now. Okay, we've got a ball and it's growing. Just going to keep it going and hope that it doesn't, like, as I start needling, 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 stabbing. <laughs> see, this is what I mean. It twists. Can you see that? Like, it's just this little bit that pulls and it twists. And it's cutting out from the inside. Okay, one thing is certain. When you're trying to pull it apart, pulling gently is the way to go because then the fibers just separate. I thought, surely not. Surely it'll stay together. But no. Here's the advice of experts, people. They know what they're talking about. Hence, experts. Okay, okay. We have a pretty sizable ball here. So we're just going to pull gently and wind that around and then start stabbing. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. As if I wasn't nervous rolling up a ball. Did you see how stressful that was? Okay, let me just... That is so cool. So in case you didn't know, the needles, there are little ridges, like right at the end, that ha that, yeah, that help you, that 
do the thing. This is not a tutorial, by the way, but it's looking good. Oh, hang on a second. <gasps> wait, wait. <gasps> I think I did a thing. Good decision, Madeline. Ow, far out. Hmm. We have our first injury. <laughs> good decision, good decision. Madeline. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. I am very clumsy. I don't think people would think of me as clumsy, but I am. <laughs> See, this is shedding. I don't think this is meant to shed like that. Mm. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I am a little bit stressed about how much this is shrinking, but it's a little bowl. Still very, like, fuzzy looking. There's the kitty. Look at him. No. But this has definitely got a shape. Look at that. <laughs> So exciting. Knowing them as they will never know me. Not above them, but part of them. And love them. Just completely changed tempos. It's fine. <laughs> I'm cute already. Oh my goodness. Awesome thing is when you're layering wool over wool, it just merges. This is Piki's head so far. Look at her. Look how cute. Very rounded. I'm about to start on the eyes. Ow. Yeah. Oh, it's very hard to see on the camera, but I can see that the fibers kind of go around um, in a way. <laughs> oh. A little bit. Yeah, just there's, there's a bit of oh my goodness <laughs> oh hair yeah far out <clears throat> it's very hard because the block is also white oh drew blood on that last stab whoops I think it's really hurting um I showed my mum last night what I was making and I was doing this and I got a bit carried away with it. <laughs> and she's looking at me like, have you lost your mind? And I said, it's kind of addicting. And so she, she actually had a go of it. She took her head in the needle and she's stabbing away. And she just kind of gives me this look of confusion, like, really? But I mean, like, it is genuinely really fun to me because it's like sculpting, but it's less stressful. I don't know why. It's a day later and this is where she's at. Look at her. She got sports and a body. Almost. <laughs> what? I was just filming my progress. Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, she got a little smile. I will say the details are difficult, especially when it gets as small as her mouth, because I really wanted to get it the way it is in the cartoon, which is really adorable, but it's a little bit pointier at the ends of her mouth than how I was able to do this. But I think it's cute. It's still cute. And I've literally just attached this body piece. It was difficult to attach at the neck because it's such a thin piece. But we're there! Now I gotta figure out how to do the legs and arms because they're really tiny. Cat's having a coughing fit. Okay, she good. <laughs> okay, I really need a shower, but I am so... Okay, I'm not gonna... Mm, should I touch her? Okay, basically, I've finished her. Um, I thought this was going to take me weeks, as in 13 weeks, which is the length of my study period, but I finished her today. I basically did her body in one day and give her an extra spot on the back. Well, not an extra. It's actually... No, I'll see it. <laughs> She's so cute. Anyway, let's, let's show you. Here she is! Look at her! Excuse the mess in the background, that's my sister's bed. But look! I'm gonna get a good grip on my computer. Look at her! She's got a little tail and everything! Look at her! She's so cute! I have a Kwame! <laughs> I'm so excited! I, I love how she turned out, I love it. It's difficult to get her to sit up. Um, I'm impressed that I've been able to do that 
at all. She's very top heavy. Okay, so it's an hour after I filmed that first bit and I realised I didn't talk about what I learnt in this experience because I did learn some things. Next time to help, like, to make her... No. Oh. Puppy. Anyway, to make her poseable and possibly to give her a little bit more structure, I could felt like the different body parts around some wire. Even just some pipe cleaners as a frame. <laughs> so basically, like I said in the start, the wool is actually rather coarse. The fibres themselves are much thicker than what I've seen Girl. Sisters interrupting. <laughs> we do share this room, so. Anyway, the fibres are much thicker than what I've seen in a lot of the videos I used to reference. There are a lot of stray fibres sticking up above the surface and those stray fibres tend to mix with the other colours a little bit. Like I've got some white in my black and then like there are bits of red that hang over the white of her eyes and the colour in her eyes. In the future, if I do decide to make a thing out of this, I'd love to try and get some more expensive stuff, some finer stuff. I think something else I noticed was that I could have gone thinner on the black, definitely, because the spots on her, these kind of stick up a little bit. I'd love to, I'd love to experiment. So yeah, that's, that's, that's Tiki. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time I upload. <laughs> Bye.